here again, once again. Um, yeah, this is going to be my uh, third tutorial of the day at the day of recording this and uploading this, because this is a high priority video. Um, uh, by request of head builder Evan. So this needs to be done today. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to build this huge boat right here. This is a very big boat. It's the biggest boat yet. The boats have been getting bigger because we started off with the little tiny, teeny, tiny speed boats right here. Then we got up to this medium sized pontoon boat. Then we got to this uh, also medium sized fishing boat. And now we're on this like huge boat with like nets and big masts and stuff. If you wanted to put a, sta a sail on this thing, you could. Um, the only thing that Evan didn't include in this was an engine, which I want to throw on right now. Um, okay, there's our engine piece. And maybe a um, piece of chain there. There's our... Uh, wait, um, nope, that's not a good engine. Let's just go with what we had. Well, there's our engine piece. So let's get on. Well, also this tutorial is going to be a layer by layer tutorial, so let's get on with the tutorial. Alright, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. So then that's this long strip right here, and then we can go in by 1 and do 2, then 3, then two, then two. And you can bring that back on the other side. And all the way back to there. Um, but it does stick over just a bit. So you can leave two of these. So one, two, and then cover it up on three. Because it's got these little fork on the back. These forks is what I'm going to call them. For now, the forks. And you can fill in the whole bottom of it if you want to. I suggest you do. This is going to be the longest boat tutorial for a while, but Evan might um, design one tomorrow at the day of uploading this and recording this. Once again, high priority video. But that's it for layer number one. Let's get on to layer number two. All right, for layer number two. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna cover that part up and then three, three, and bring this out by one and go across the whole front of the boat um, like that, but cut off the end one there. There. And then two, and then three, and then two, and then two, and then. Wait, what is this? So, so two, three, two, three, two. Okay, so that I messed up. Two, three, two, three. Two. And then do the same thing on the on the other side. Two, three, two, three, and then two. All right. So then, what you can do is you can fill in pretty much the entire thing with uh, birch wood planks, which I forgot to grab. So we can grab our birch wood planks and I'll just leave that right there for now. Yeah, because this is all birch wood. It's got a birch floor. Also, leave a like if you like these uh, boat tutorials. They're um, they're really easy to put out, but if you
if you guys like them, then just say that you like them, because I like making these, these are fun to make. Um, but if you keep filling in all of this, and then you've got it at your floor. But that's it for layer number two, so let's get on to layer number three. Alright, so let's get on to layer number three. So what you're going to want to do is come to the front and put a quartz slab, then a quartz block next to it right there. And then take your blue wool in two, three, two, two, three. And there you go. Um, but then what we can do is we can work on this uh, containers right here. So take your uh, polish and go one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, and then do a little four by two like that on both sides. Just making sure that that's right. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly right. All right. So now go forwards by two right there, and one, and one, and do two, and then put a quartz block there. Also back here, um, you can put a quartz block right there, right um, on the one behind that one. Um, and also, we can start on that light blue wool now. I don't think we're going to be needing the uh, blue wool anymore. So we can do one, one, and then leave a gap, two quarts, and then another light blue. But... Um, I'm pretty sure that's it for layer number, uh, is this three? Yeah, layer number three. So let's get on to layer number four. All right, for layer number four, you're going to come over to this blue part, and you're just going to go over the entire thing with your slabs, um, but only do uh, one on the end one there because of the big, huge crane. Okay, and then now what you want to do is light blue wool, light blue wool, and then put a black stained glass there, black stained glass there, and I forgot to do the front in the last layer, but it's all quartz here with black stained glass, and then right here it's another quartz, and then light blue wool, and... This is, um, not, not anything behind it. Okay, I thought there was something behind it, but I guess not. So you can just put, you can do quartz all across the floor here. And why am I doing it with slabs? I'm supposed to be doing it with blocks. But then three uh, with your glass and then put your light blue there. And then you can do another smooth quartz block. Um, because we're working on this little, uh, driver's seat area. And also, this is not supposed to be there, apparently. And then you can put another on this one, and also, I forgot about this, and then we need to change this layer, too, so. One, two, one, two. and then on the third one, there, you make a little three by three. And then put chains on all the corners. And then you can take um, one thing that another thing that I also forgot was the um, 
uh, dark oak slab so you can cover up the entire thing with uh, these dark oak slabs and that is supposed to be the quartz there. There we go. Um, but we need to come to the front and do two there, two uh, iron bars. But that's it for layer number four, so let's get on to layer number five. Alright, for layer number five, or what, what layer is this? Okay, I'm going to have to count. So one, two, three, four, yeah, five. I'm going to put one there with the block, one there with the block, one quartz on each corner. So you can make a little 3x3 three three in the top, cut out the, these uh, side ones and get that little shape there. And then right here, um, you can put your block, which is next layer actually, okay? You don't have to do that right now, but you can if you want to. And then if you come over here, then you do just another two, two like that. But th that's all you have to do for layer number five, so let's get on to layer number six. Alright, for layer number six, once again, you just need to do your little uh, iron bar thing right here. This goes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen times, so... That's a lot. If you want to do all 16 right now, you can, but I'm not doing it because it's layer by layer. It's not section by section. And then you can put your extra one there and an extra one there. But that's all you have to do for layer number six. So, wait, is this layer number six? One, two, three, four. Um. I'll just count over here because it's easier. But we go one, two, three, four, and then five. Yeah, we're on layer number six. All right, let's get on to layer number seven. All right, for layer number seven, once again, you just want to put um, one block there, and then, but this time you can do two there. Um, and also, you can. Go out by one and put a chain hooking up right there and a chain hooking up right there. Um, but then we come back down here, do that. But that's it for layer number seven, so let's get on to layer number eight. Alright, for layer number eight, all we are going to do is just bring this up and over like that. So that's the main net on the side, but um, I'm just going to finish off this huge tall part now because we don't, um, like, there's nothing else to do, it's just going to be me doing the tall part. So here we've got four, so now we can do it up by 12 more, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, and then put one on the top right there. And then just bring it all the way up to there. Now I need to check how many this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, not seven. And then we can, um, Put one on the bottom right here. There we go. And then from block 
number one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And right there. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, so maybe it does need to be down by one more. So two, two, and two. Right there. And then from there we go one, two, three. Alright. One, two, three. And put one on each side of this. And that. Then go down by one. And go over. And then go down by one more. It might be two, no, it's just one. Okay, I actually don't know this net design because it was all designed by Evan. Big thanks to him. Once again, pretty much all of the boats have been designed by Evan. All of the boats have been designed by Evan. Sometimes I forget to leave credit though, so. But in this video, I'm giving credit to Evan. So thank you, Evan, once again for this boat. Um, and then make a little T on the bottom. But that's all you have to do to make it. But that's how you make the big, big, big fishing boat. I put the, I put the crane on the wrong side, so you're gonna have to demolish that and put it on the other side, but it was just up a few blocks to, yeah, right there, and then... Two, uh, this one was four by the way, two, and two, then go down with two by, with, or down by two with the chain, then put one smooth quartz block, then go make, um, make the, like, X kind of shape, or like that, I don't know how to, like, describe that as a thing, but that's what it looks like, and then four chains on the corners, then take the cobwebs, make three by three, this is made for, like, the big crab catcher, and then you can just delete this one, I was doing it on the wrong side. There we go. Some other tutorials that will be coming very soon are like the ATST, ATDP. Um, Ty Dagger's out at the time of recording this video, I think. Or, no, it's not. It will be out tomorrow. But, um, yeah, there's still a few tutorials that I need to put out and record, and there's a lot that I have to edit. So, um,. But that's going to do it for this video of the Flying Giraffes tutorials. Um, and goodbye!